everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this roundabout cup cozy which is a super simple crochet project for you to work on. Uh, it uses the spiral method of working in a round which means that you're going to be working in continuous rounds in this project. It works up quickly. It only uses about 40 yards of a worsted weight cotton. Today in this tutorial I'm going to be using this Bernat Handicrafter cotton uh, in the French blue color. This is a 100% cotton, a medium weight yarn and there's about 84 yards per ball. So you're only going to need half of the ball to make this project. You're also going to need a 5 millimeter crochet hook and uh, links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and you'll also find some more photos there as well. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here I invite you to take a look around don't forget to subscribe and uh, I look forward to seeing all of your crochet makes. As mentioned, this pattern is worked in rounds and it is going to be worked in continuous rounds so you're also going to want to have a stitch marker or something you can use to mark the first stitch with and you're going to want to have it handy. We're going to start by working our slip knot and then working a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be 30 stitches. There's 20, and 30. Now if you need to change the size of your cup cozy to make it smaller or larger, uh, any multiple of stitches will do for this pattern. Once you have worked your foundation chain, you're then going to, without twisting, join with a slip stitch into the first chain. I like to join into the back bumps of my stitches because it gives me a nice finished edge there on the bottom. You're then ready to begin round one for round one. You're going to chain one and work one single crochet stitch into the same stitch as joining and then into each stitch all the way around. Again I'm working into the back bumps which gives me that nice clean edge uh, when I'm finished. So just work one single crochet stitch into each chain stitch all the way around and do not join or turn at the end of your round. Once you come all the way around and you have 30 single crochet stitches worked, you're going to begin round two by working in the back loops only of your stitches and you're not going to join. We want to work in continuous rounds. So don't join your work. You're going to work in the back loops only. So if you look at your stitch, you have this nice V here up at the top. The back loop only is that horizontal bar that is farthest away from you. So you're going to insert your hook under the back loop only. You're going to want to pull it tight at this point and work one single crochet stitch. You want to pull it fairly snug though so that there's no gaps in between this uh, first little jump into our second round. Complete your single crochet stitch then take your stitch marker and mark that first stitch so that you know where your first one is. You're then going to continue around working under that back loop only and single crochet into that first stitch. 
you're going to continue that all the way around and you're going to work a total of two more rounds. So this is for rounds two and three. Continue working in the back loops only all the way around. When you come to your round three, simply remove the stitch marker, work in the stitch, mark your first stitch again, and then continue on to finish round three. So work two rounds of single crochet stitches in the back loop only and then meet me back here. At the end of round three this is what your work looks like. For round four you're going to continue working in the back loop only but you're going to begin by into this first stitch in the back loop only work two single crochet stitches. So into that first stitch work one. Don't forget to place back your stitch marker and then two both into that same stitch. You're then going to single crochet work one single crochet into each remaining stitch all the way around. So two in that first stitch one in each all the way around. Next for rounds five and six, so for the next two rounds you're simply going to continue working in that back loop only and working one single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around. So two rounds of single crochet stitches uh, in each stitch all the way around. For round seven, you're going to continue working in the back loop only. Work two single crochet stitches into that first stitch. Don't forget to replace your stitch marker. Then continue working in the back loop only and work one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches. For rounds eight and nine, so for the next two rounds, continue working in the back loop only and you're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around. For round 10, continue working into the back loop only and work two single crochet stitches into that first stitch. And then one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches all the way around. At the end of round 10, you're going to have a total of 33 single crochet stitches. For rounds 11 and 12, so for the next two rounds, you're simply going to work in the back loop only and single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of round 12, you can join with a slip stitch under both loops of that first stitch, fasten off, and then just take your yarn needle and weave in your ends. You'll have two there up at the top, one up at the top, and then one down at the bottom. Just going to quickly weave in those ends like so. trim off any excess yarn and then if you'd like if you'd like to embellish it a little bit you can add a button or maybe a tag uh, it's really up to you but your roundabout cup cozy is complete so thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to take a look around and I look forward to seeing you again next time until then happy crocheting bye <music>